Hey everybody, uh, it's me again. In this video, I basically want to clear up some more things um, so that when the time comes, you guys don't get confused, okay? Um, yes, double check your tickets. The rapture is about to happen. How do you double check your tickets? Go in the prayer closet, go get on your knees, ask God whether you're going or not. Just don't assume, just because you're doing ministry, don't assume that you're going, okay? All I knew from recent dreams, a lot of pastors are going to get left behind, y'all. A lot of these pastors, they think they know God, they think they're, they're serving God, but let me tell you, they have not repented of their sins, okay? I was, God was sending me dreams left and right, bunches of scripture, okay? And they cannot read this and say I'm incorrect, okay? Um, I was talking about not anybody who said, Lord, Lord, shut into the kingdom of heaven, okay? These men were, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, done miracles in your name? And I was t telling them, Without the Holy Spirit, without born again, they are not able to do this. So that means they were born again. But what God say, I knew you not, you worker of iniquity. You work of lawlessness. What does that mean? You never repented of your sin. Okay? And and, and what what is repent? To fear the Lord. You have to fear the Lord. Okay? For you to be able to repent. Okay? Fearing the Lord. True fearing the Lord will lead you to repentance because God is a God of judge, a justice. Okay? If you fear the Lord, it will lead you to repentance. And it, repenting is what brings order and system. Okay? Um, practicing lawlessness uh, brings destruction. Okay? So these men, it doesn't, they were trying to justify themselves by their work, how they serve God. They're self-righteous, right? And they uh, remember how I and um, I was telling you that the um, the work comes after the blood, which is after repenting of your sin. In other words, uh, the judge will not if you uh, did a crime that day. The judge will not look at your work because it's relevant because he is a judge. He's looking at your sin that day. So it's to say your work goes in vain if your sin has not been repented of, is not been dealt with. Okay, so just to make it clear, okay, though that's why God said. Um, Faith without work is dead, okay? Faith and work comes after the blood, after the repentings of sin, okay? So, um, does that make sense to you guys? I cannot explain this much easier, okay? I was talking to people, you know, the ones they've always say, um, uh, the devil has twisted the people that believe and then they're teaching a lie. They're twisting God's word because um, it's all about a filtration of the soul. God wants to see who's serious to turn from their wicked ways and, and seek God or abusing the blood. Okay. And here's another scripture. It talks up it's to show that it's not once saved, always saved. Okay. I was talking about the conception and the born again. The born again is actually the rapture itself. Okay? The conception is once you believe even accept God in your heart, okay? Um, as long as you're in the flesh, you're still hungry, you're still thirsty, you have not uh, have that eternal life yet, okay? The eternal life you have is at the moment of the rapture. That's when you truly are born again, okay? When you truly see that you have an incorruptible body, that's how you know you're sealed, is when you can see that you have the incorruptible body. And I'm making in, in videos uh, what this new incorruptible body is, okay? I'll be thin again, no blemishes. All the teeth that was lost was restored in my dream. I was like, oh my God, I have all my teeth back. Like, I lost a few teeth. And my vision was bad. You know, I can't see far. But in what I, when I get raptured out, I had 2020, 2020 vision. Even better than 2020 vision, right? So, I and then I didn't feel pain. I was able to uh, breathe in water. I was able to fly. I was able to, like, walk through walls. I was basically like the angels, okay? So, that's why we were going back and forth, you know? Yes, we'll be in tribulation. We'll be not affected by the the wrath to come okay and because we will not feel pain no more the only way that you can know 
that you are truly born again is at the rapture when you can actually see it on you, right? So a lot of Christian, I was talking about out of the seven churches, only one is able to escape. Six are left to go through beheadings, okay? Six are left. And out of that six church, one or two are going to be the remnant, are going to pass the test, are going to go through beheading. A lot of the rest of the church are going to rot. They are what I call uh, um, reprobate. Their mind is a reprobate, okay? Uh, God was saying the one sin that's not forgiven man was a blaspheme against the Holy Spirit is to not fear the Lord. So um, uh, reprobate is a mindset of working lawlessness and not wanting to turn from your wicked ways. Okay, that's the mind of the reprobate, right? And so that was um, unforgiven sin. They are beyond forgiveness, right? And uh, if you read the book of Enoch, it says if God didn't pardon the angels, okay, the fallen angels, uh, if God didn't pardon them or forgive them because of lawlessness, who are you being born again? I'm not talking about the ones that are not born again or the one that's lost. I'm talking about the ones that are born again with spiritual gifts and they repented not. And God say, I knew you not, okay? I see tons of NED people die, come back, and they were shocked that they served God all their life. And they, and they, uh, and God said they, their name was not in the Lamb Book of Life. Because why? They try to justify it by their works. Serving God. But what? They never repented of their sin. And God was bringing detail that you were supposed to um, uh, correct these people. Okay? and But because uh, they were giving you stuff and you, you didn't want to correct them. That was a sin in itself. Okay? So, I'm correcting a bunch of these pastors. Okay? But... It depends on how pride is the biggest killer. A lot of them will not receive this message of mine and will be condemned in it altogether because they can't lay down their riches and their popularity, okay? Being known, okay? And they're, okay, they're like, oh, if you're so right, then why is your uh, view so little? I'm like, what does God say? Narrow is the way that leads to life and only a few that find it. I truly see how few this is. If seven church, okay, these are born again believers, okay? And if one is getting raptured out and God's saying I'm making it, you know six of them. Six out of seven, you know how much Christians are getting left behind. You know how many Christians is um, serving the devil. And, and, and I'm talking about Christians, okay? I even see people that I bring and they, they fall back into the world. Man, let's not get into that. But all I'm saying in this video is not want, save, always save. I promise you this, okay? And I explain in details, okay? If you um, believe in the way I explain this, all the scripture will fall in order if you truly decide to repent. Because repenting will allow you to do what? To see and hear the truth. The speck in your eye is sin, okay? A lot of people are reading scripture, but they are not seeing the scripture, okay? They're like, oh, you don't have to repent, uh, and you're sealed, and you're good to go. Uh, if that was the case, why does God say multiple times in Revelation and throughout the book, and all the disciples say, repent, repent, make your way straight, okay? Repenting is the blood, Okay, whoever overcome the blood and the flesh, who overcome their sins and the work that I ask you to do according to the Bible. That's why God said, whoever doeth, you hear my saying, you doeth. God saying, repent. Are you repenting? Are you overcoming your sins? Okay, the fear of Lord is this um, to is to repent. Okay. People don't fear the Lord. That's why they're not repenting of their sin, because if they knew God has all the power, because, you know. I think God's so nice. God wouldn't do that. That's what the angel thought. And he they played around with his blood before the fallen angels. They, they, there wasn't a place called hell. All right? They think God's so nice and God would never punish them. And then they, they tried God. They, 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 they want to they wanna see how far they can go with sin. Okay? And so they went so far and they can't ever come back. <laughs> Let's put it that way. You don't want to be among those people or the fallen angels, okay? And uh, the once saved, always saved. I promise you, they will get left behind and they will go through beheading, okay? A lot of them. Let me tell you, okay? Um, yeah, so what I'm trying to say is 
is truly not one save, always save, okay? God says, repent. They repented not. They they don't run, run to repent. It means they don't want to turn from their wicked ways. They don't have the fear of me. And when I bring judgment, let's see if they fear me or not. That's what God is saying. And so um, God says, repent and I will restore you. They repented not. Okay, repent. John said, repent. The water baptism represent repentance onto sin. Okay. Um, so what happened is, you know, the one scripture said that is, is a blaspheme against the Holy Spirit is when you uh, practicing. The scripture says when you practice sin willfully after no, knowing the truth, there's no more sacrifice of sin. It leads you into a reprobate mind. Okay, you gone so far that you don't even care to come back. You've gone so far into sin that you know that you passed the line so bad that even if you come back, that God wouldn't forgive you. Okay? Because you are like the fallen angel at this moment. Okay? You are at that. That's why, um, you know, that's, that's, that's the thing. I was like, God, if, if they, they truly, truly like, you know, but, you know, um, just like the fallen angels. I'm just going to give you an example. Read the book of Enoch. The fallen angels, they they went as far as step over the line that they shouldn't. And they stepped so far from it, right? And once they know, once they basically, once they live it up and have, uh, basically they, they live it up and have all the fun that they did. And when they were ready to come and repent, they were crying. They were repenting. They were asking Enoch to intercede. They did all the stuff that a normal person would, um, um, you know, pray. And, uh, and then, no, what is, what, what is, uh, what was happened? A, um, Jesus said, the, uh, I mean, Enoch, inter, you know, inter, try to intercede for them. And God said, you're supposed to intercede for them, not them on behalf of you. So judgment, even though each one of them had 500 years to live, but judgment already passed on them means the, uh, their final destination is doom, hellfire, you know, the lake of fire. Like, they're, even though they have five, so even though you have time to live now, your, your, your judgment is already decided. Okay, but um, at this moment, if you have been a, uh, what was it? The one save always save is uh, are in really in definition a hypocrite. Okay, you just don't know the, how hypocrite you are. Okay, but all I'm saying is, at this moment, try asking God for another chance. If you know that you passed the line so far, the only thing you can do right now is cry to the Lord. And ask, cry like your life depend on it, right? Ask for another chance. That's the only thing you can do.